The world of television and broadcast quality video changed forever in 1973 with the introduction of the digital time-based corrector. Two American companies, Consolidated Video Systems and Television Microtime, announced similar products almost simultaneously. With the help of these new magical inventions, one could take unstable poor quality half-inch videotape and turn it into stable poor quality half-inch videotape. Available together for the very first time, the complete Woodstock album collections, unedited and in their entirety. Every song on the Woodstock collection is mastered from the original tapes as it actually sounded on stage during that historic weekend. Standalone TBC allowed indie artists and activists who use portable, affordable video equipment since mid-1960s to overcome the steep technological and regulatory hurdles that had prevented them access to broadcast television. Professionals took notice of TBC as well. As early as 1973, small television stations started switching from big and expensive 2-inch videotape recorders to cheaper 1-inch helical machines and even to 3 quarter inch system, which was introduced by Sony in 1969 as a home video format. Here is another technological landmark achieved by Sony's research and development staff the Sony Color Video Cassette System. By 1975, big networks were using 3 quarter inch recorders for shooting and editing news and documentaries and aired these tapes, passing the signal through a digital TBC. So what exactly is time-based corrector? Video tape recorder combines electronics and mechanics to record video on magnetic tape as a series of stripes, either across a 2-inch tape or at a very gentle slope on a narrower tape. The first approach is called transversal, the second is helical. Minute instability of tape travel speed and head drum rotation cause jitter when things that should happen with strict periodicity do not. For example, individual picture lines, which make up a video frame, may start at a slightly different time and may have slightly different duration, which results in shaky or wavy picture. More serious timing errors cause skew, tearing, color streaking, flag waving, hue shift, picture roll, and even complete loss of synchronization. The best 2-inch machines are capable of controlling up to 1 microsecond of synchronization instability. Helical machines can have timing errors an order of magnitude higher than quads, even more so when a portable recorder is being used. The video produced by these machines was not broadcast legal until digital time-based corrector had been invented. TBC electronically corrects image instability, making the video suitable for broadcast. The basic function of a digital TBC is to read incoming video line by line digitize it and store it in a memory buffer. Originally, the memory could fit just a couple of lines, but grew to 8, 16, 32 lines, and finally to a field or even a whole frame. TBC strips away synchronization pulses from the incoming video and generates new ones either from a built-in high-precision clock or from an external one, adjusts duration of individual lines and writes out the buffered lines with precise intervals between them. Visually, this achieves a perfectly rectangular frame with straight edges. As long as the buffer is not completely emptied and neither is overflown, a TBC is able to output perfectly timed video without loss of data. To ensure the consistent tape speed, the mechanism of a typical VCR has two servos. Capstan servo for stabilizing linear tape speed and head drum servo for stabilizing reading speed. At any given time, Tape can move slightly faster or slightly slower than required, but its speed does not drift too far from nominal, because the Capstan servo adjusts tape speed with every frame using 30Hz pulse from the control track. A professional-grade TBC can output a correction signal to a compatible videotape machine, which in turn would adjust its playback speed to avoid overflow or underflow of the buffer of the TBC. This sort of ad hoc correction is not possible with consumer-grade VCRs, so one must rely on the VCR speed control system matched with a larger correction buffer of a TBC. Irregular frame sync pulses from a damaged tape 
may cause vertical jerks or picture roll. In this case, you need a TVC that restores not only horizontal sync pulses, but vertical sync pulses as well, functioning as a single channel frame synchronizer. By the early 1980s, most professional videotape recorders were outfitted with a built-in TBC. The requirements for home video machines have always been less stringent than for professional ones, which is why most consumer-grade VCRs do not employ a built-in TBC and show a slightly wavy picture even when functioning properly. For a short period of time in the end of the 1980s, some high-end VCRs adopted a built-in TBC only to drop it just a couple of years later. By the end of the 1990s, a built-in TBC returned to high-end VCRs and became the norm on camcorders. As standalone TBCs go into disrepair, TBC-like computer-based converters and stabilization software become more important in the quest of preserving old analog video recordings. This is it. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.